Christos Anesti, Christ is risen. Hey everyone, it's your host Paladin Hansen back at it again with another video. And in this video, again, we'll be doing part two of our Silencing Objections series because I've had many scoffers and mockers online who have doubted this material, attacked me personally, XYZ, but we're gonna be the better men out here and just show them and edify them in their errors and admonish them as brethren. So I hope without further ado that you guys get something sweet to eat because this is going to be another good little video. Get yourself a little honey stick or something and have at it. So I've had enough chit chat already. I wanna get this video started, try to keep it short as I possibly can and we'll see you in the PowerPoint slides. All right, so first we're gonna start off with our Hebrew Aleph Bet. Here you can see the Aleph Bet, Aleph the Tav. You can also see the Gematria values for the Hebrew Aleph Bet, as well as the Sophit, the final forms, Aleph being one, Bet being two, Gimel being three, so on and so forth, all the way to Tav, which is 400, and of course your Sophits. And so I just, I've reiterated this quite a lot. You can look up my past videos to get more in-depth detail on uh, the Hebrew Aleph Bet and how it's ordered. Uh, but to save time, I'm not gonna go through it right now. I hopefully many of you viewers already know it. So we're gonna look now to Genesis 1.1 because the title of this video again is Silencing Objections and we're probably gonna title it More Miracles in uh, Genesis 1-1 or something around that nature. I'll figure something out. <laughs> but in Genesis 1-1, again, we have seven words. And those seven words, if you go, for, if you count them from the bet all the way to the Saudi, is 28 letters. 28 is divisible by seven. Seven times four is 28. You can also break down the four, two times two times seven if you want to. If we look at the first three words, you have Bereshit bara Elohim, which is 14 letters from the Bet to the Mem. And so 14 is divisible by seven. Seven times two, again, is 14. If we look at the last four words, et hashemaim ve'et ha'aretz, you have 14 letters as well which again is divisible by seven twice. If we take the gematria of the first letters of the first and last words of Genesis 1.1, which is the word Bereshit and the word Haaretz. So we're looking at Bet and we're looking at He. Bet is two, He is five, because they're both the first letters in, the, in those words. And so we get seven. And if we take the last letters of the first and last words, right? So Tav is 400 and Sadi is 90. It's 490. And 490 is divisible by seven, 70 times. In fact, uh, Jesus, he was telling his Talmudim, uh, you know, his Talmudim were asking, how many times should we forgive in XYZ? I don't want to X, Y, Z, the Holy Scripture, but you know what I mean here. Um, he's, you know, he's like, I say to you, not seven times, but 70 times seven times, my friends. And 70 times seven is 490. So I think Jesus, I'm not making a definitive statement, but I think Jesus is making a tie back to the first and last letters of Genesis 1.1. Uh, so I, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. If we take the gematria of the first and last letters of all seven words, it's two for bet. The tav is 400. You have the bet and the aleph, so two and one for bara. For elohim, you have the aleph and the mem. The aleph, again, being one, the mem being 40. For et, there's only two words. So the first word is aleph, which is one, and the tav, again, 400. And then for Hashemayim, the first and last letters is a He and a Mem. He is five, Mem, 40. For Va'et, you have Vav, six, and Tav, 400. And finally, for Ha'aretz, you have the five for He and the Sadi at 90. 
the gematria of the first and last letters of all seven words adds up to 1,393, 1,393, which is divisible by seven 199 times. If we take the nouns of Genesis 1-1, which is Elohim for God, we have the heavens for Hashemayim, sky waters, and we have Haaretz at the earth. It is 14 letters total. So count them up. You can see here. Aleph, one, Lamed, two, He, three, Yud, four, Mem, five, He, six, Shin, seven, Mem, eight, Yud, nine, Mem, ten, He, uh, eleven, Aleph, twelve, Resh, thirteen, Sadi, fourteen, fourteen letters for all of the nouns. Again, fourteen is divisible by seven. Seven times two is fourteen. And if we take the gematria values of these words, right? Elohim, Hashemayim, and Haaretz. Elohim is 86. Hashemayim, 395. Haaretz, 296, which is 777 when you add them all up. So the gematria of the nouns is 777. It's doing a little trisagion. And you can break that down. 777 is 7 times 111. And you can break that down even further with 7 times 3 times 37. <laughs> so it never ends, man. I mean, the 7s, the 3s, the 1s, they are everywhere in the scripture, in the Holy Writ. Now, many of you have, if you've watched my previous videos, you guys will know by now 2701, 2701 is the total makeup of the gematria of Genesis 1-1. And if we take its reflection of 2701, it's 1072, which is 3773. So more threes, more sevens, hallelujah. Absolutely amazing perfection here. I love this y'all math. You know, what's cool and what's really neat about geometry is that it's, it's everywhere in the Bible. And I want you guys to be familiar with hexagonal numbers, hexagonal numbers. And so the first hexagonal number is six. So it takes six points to form a, the most basic hexa hexagon. So it takes six points to form the most basic hexagon. And if you want a larger hexagon, you have 15 points and your third one is 28 points and if you eventually get to your 37th hexagonal number it's 2701 so we can see the relationship with 2701 and the number 37 or 1 3 and 7 in general if we look at the mogan david right we're looking at the star of david here and you might have seen this a pattern before. It's on the back of an American $1 banknote. So if you look at the back of a $1 bill, you'll notice a Star of David. And the most basic Star of David is 13. So it takes 13 points to form this geometrical shape. And then the next one would be 37, right? So again, these threes and sevens, these ones, these threes, these sevens popping up in these Star of David uh, geometrical patterns, these geometrical shapes. The next one you can go and it's going to be 73 for an even larger Star of David. And then you can even go higher and the next one's going to be 337. So you can see that ones, threes, and sevens, they are everywhere in geometry and also everywhere in the scriptures now i want you guys to keep this in mind those uh those star of david numbers especially 337 for instance if we take the even words of genesis 1 1 the even words are bara et and va et and bara is 203 et is 401 and va'et is 407, which is 203 plus 401 plus 407. If we add them all up, it's 1011. 1011 
you can break that down, which is three times 337. So if we take all of the even words in Genesis 1-1, you get three perfect star of David's, very large stars of David, all of them 337 points in this geometrical shape. And since it's 1011, you have three of them. If we take the odds of Genesis 1-1, it is Bereshit, it is Elohim, it is Hashemayim, and then Haaretz. If you have Bereshit at 913, Elohim at 86, Hashemayim at 395, and Haaretz at 296, it adds up to 1,690. 1,690. And you can break down 1,690 as 10 times 169. So if you take the Genesis 1-1 gematria of the odd words, which is 1,690, you get 10 perfect hexagons at 169 points each, 169 dots each. And if we take the even words in Genesis 1-1, and then we take the odd words of Genesis 1-1 and their geometrical patterns, you get this beautiful formation here, which shows perfect symmetry with the Genesis 1-1 and John 1-1 words geometrically. It's absolutely amazing uh, yaw math we're finding here because you know, this is why I title some of my videos, you need to know your math, because here we're learning geometry out the wazoo. We're learning Star of David numbers. We're learning hexagonal numbers. We are learning triangular numbers, etc., etc. So without further ado, that is going to wrap up part two. And so I hope you guys uh, feel good about this and uh, a lot of geometry again in the scriptures. I mean, we just went through the odd and even words of Genesis 1-1, got this beautiful geometric for, uh, formation with the Star of David's and the hexagons. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to pick up on this series later on, but I really want to do my Akida series, my Abdullah versus Obadiah series, Isaac versus Ishmael, and the topic of the Akida or the binding of Isaac. So that is what I'm more focused on right now. I'm also busy packing. You can see there's nothing in here but a lacquer. And so I uh, want you guys to take care and have a good one. Yah bless, and we'll see you soon.